national, regional and other levels. We have more than 387 uh, kinds of support. And if we take into consideration all the, uh, all the modification of those, uh, there will be more than 30,000. But does it mean that it's easy to receive the help? Is it easy to obtain the information about the support you can obtain and what is changing in the social support system, which is helping people to overcome all the barriers, all the risks, and the discontent that people usually have. So uh, we would like to talk about it with the heads of three regions of uh, Russian Federation, with Natalia Komarova, uh, Ugra region governor, Andrei Nikitin. He is connected by internet, uh, governor of Novgorod region, he, uh, Mr. Shapsha, uh, governor of Kaluga region. My name is uh, Olga Batalina. I am the first vice minister for labor and social protection of Russian Federation. And first of all, I would like to mention the changes that are happening at the federal level. We hear a lot of new world, uh, word which uh, we use more and more, and it's social treasury. And uh, this concept is the main concept of changes of the update of our social support system. And it's true that the pandemic system, when we had to guarantee the possibility to work at a distance for our citizens, when uh, we had to find a way to uh, look for help without presenting all the documents physically, so we had to uh, find some ways to guarantee uh, online uh, applies for uh, different kinds of social support uh, and we were Mm, looking for a way to guarantee uh, support timely in due form because we understand we understood that um, during the pandemic the incomes of families were going down and we had to offer a kind of support for uh, families with children and our project of social treasury became the center of changes changes that step by step lead us to the answer to the question whether it's easy to get help from the state in our our country. The social treasury is a new form of interaction between citizens and the states, and in the center of those changes we have the person, the citizen. And our main objective is to offer targeted help uh, on the basis of one application in a digital form or without any application. And it uh, um, required a total revision of our approach because now we um, are basing on the approach we consider that any citizen has right to receive support from the state and uh, we strive to do that uh, any person uh, can could present an application uh, from uh, his apartment from his house we are fighting for social justice for social equality. Uh, we use a lot of information with, that we receive from uh, the big data, and we can organize our support measures and make them targeted. We also um, are working on um, transferring all the processes in, in digital form, because when you ask people to bring you this or that document, they just don't, don't understand it, because uh, this is the information which uh, um, is uh, in the registers of other ministries, of other entities, and this social treasury helped to uh, unite all the resources of state, all the database of uh, state systems, and to use them for uh, help to uh, different persons. We also are abandoning the recollection and the um, sending of physical documents between different bodies and entities. We uh, are reducing the time of uh, offering help or support in the social sphere and 
for you to understand, uh, we would like to put some examples of, of the use of social treasury. First of all, you can look at the so-called uh, mother capital. Today, the certificate for mother's capital uh, is uh, given in a proactive form. It means that the family, any family that uh, receives a mother's capital um, doesn't need to present any uh, application, uh, any request, because when a baby is born, all the information goes through the state system of information and the right of the family to the mother's capital is confirmed and after that in the uh, personal account of the family uh, we send a notification which says that you have a right to receive the mother's capital and uh, um, you can receive it in the in your personal account before you had to prepare all the papers bring them to the pensions fund uh, personally and after that uh, she was going there to retrieve the certificate, which was uh, compliant with the same objective. So, but it's a universal allowance. There are other allowances that require um, a control of the level of income for socially vulnerable citizens. And now we have a monthly payment for the children aged from three to seven years. Years. And <clears throat> there we control whether a person is really socially vulnerable, we control the incomes, we control the properties, uh, the work that person uh, has, but we do it without any participation of the citizen. It's enough to present a request uh, in electronic form on the uh, state services portal, and after that, the uh, <clears throat> public service responsible will uh, ask for the necessary information to all the entities involved and after that he will make the decision and if uh, there is a refusal there will be a full uh, explanation of the reasons of such refusal and presenting such a request the family will have the possibility to track that application to see at which stage uh, goes that application and <clears throat> the social treasury works not only for families with children we also offer uh, allowances for um, uh, people with health problems with aged people elderly people uh, for the first time from the September of the last year, we uh, introduced electronic certificate for the means of rehabilitation. We also are working on employment through electronic and digital systems, simplifying all the steps and all the formalities that you have to accomplish to obtain the support and the allowances. I'm speaking now about federal level, but we also have to achieve uh, changes in different regions of our country countries. One of the leaders of such changes is the Hunting Mansisk Autonomous Region, Yugra. Natalia, could you please tell us uh, how uh, those changes uh, influence it in your region? <clears throat> in the first place, I would like to support this federal project, and I would so like to say that in our region we have the experience, positive experience uh, of applying such an approach and work with a population which uh, needs uh, mm, social support. We have a special program uh, which is called Services Without Public Servants. We have 12 services which are offered without the involvement, uh, physical involvement of persons. It's enough to present an application and uh, after that you can receive the social support, social help and all uh, the process is organized in electronic form between the entities involved and uh, you don't have to spend your time, your efforts, you don't have to communicate with the uh, public servants and uh, also instead of 30 days, which was the, uh, which, which was the time of uh, service before, we now offer the service in within 10 days or less. The second technology that you've mentioned, the so-called proactive service, 
uh, the proactive uh, prescription of measures of social support. We've had more than 12,000 um, beneficiaries of that service in, of that regional uh, form of service, so they don't have to uh, present any application. It's enough uh, to have a change of your personal status to receive the help which corresponds to such condition. And <clears throat> up to the year 2020, the term of uh, services uh, corresponding to that um, help was of 30 days. Now we offer the this, this service in five days. And I would like to mention another possibility or another principle, uh, which is the principle of functioning of um, social treasury. Uh, I am speaking about the inclusive service. Uh, it's enough to present your whole name and your surnames, and you will see in the system all the all kind of help and support you can receive from the state. And uh, I would like to mention about our experience. Uh, we have a social guide of Ugra based on this pl uh, platform. And uh, you can use this app, uh, present yourself, and you will see all the uh, instruments of social support that you can receive, and also a map saying where you can uh, receive this help. I'm mentioning right now some unique practices uh, which um, were chosen based on the result of some com uh, tenders uh, for digital services. And we see that today many people present application for uh, different social services. And we can use the uh, Uberkind platform, uh, which uh, is used to receive those services. Uh, annually, we have uh, 3,000 persons who um, use this platform to look for a nanny, to look for babysitter or a person who will take care of elderly or um, people or people with health problems. And uh, you don't need to go anywhere. It's enough to have the app. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> it's a very useful, it's um, user-friendly, and uh, when you spoke about the social treasury apply, uh, application, I say that both uh, the public servants and the citizens of our region, they know how to use this application, they know uh, which advantages it offers to you. And then hope that uh, when we transfer to the system other uh, services of uh, our region, it will be much more efficient. And also having this experience, the transition will uh, be less um, difficult, less, less problematic. And we offer to share our experience with other regions of Russian Federation. When we work on uh, different projects, we always study the experience of other regions just to learn from uh, other servers. And uh, we try to respond to the demands of our citizens uh, acting efficiently. I've mentioned that there are uh, many people who receive those services in digital forms through social treasury, and many of them can save their time and save their uh, emotions, their efforts, and uh, receive the help they need. Because it's uh, Um, quite important here, um, a friendly, um, user-friendly platform to make it happen.
Yes, I think there are two important messages that you've emphasized. This is Uberization. This word, uh, I think, reflects the ideology of these changes, uh, well, specifically for the majority of uh, younger people, the uh, social protection system uh, would have been uh, <clears throat> unattractive because the people who are used to getting any kind of service through a smartphone or an, or an app uh, like a taxi or, you know, goods delivery or food, of course, they are expecting uh, the same level of communication uh, from the state. But today, the development of such digital services in social sphere uh, in uh, recent years is not only lagging behind business, but sometimes is outpacing uh, businesses. Let me cite a few examples in the uh, last two years uh, when uh, the history of the social sphere in our country went under uh, presidential instructions. So we had to uh, deliver this social support to uh, families with children. That was in the uh, summer of 2020. Then last year it was about school when uh, upon one uh, application in electronic format, uh, we could receive the, so uh, dozens of millions of people could get this support. Our colleagues from the Ministry of Social Protection in the Eastern or Western European countries, sometimes they are really surprised uh, because uh, they don't have any uh, anything similar to that. Yes, uh, of course, we were uh, pushed by COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, but uh, without technological assistance, we... uh, you're quite right, we couldn't have done that. So that you're quite right that people use the social support when they find themselves in uh, a dire straits, so when they have to deal with some hard uh, circumstances. But uh, this kind of, uh, um, you know, respect responsiveness uh, from the state is quite important. So, but you have to understand how to address a state authority. So you're talking about some uh, benefits and payments, uh, services. There are many services like that in every region. Where can they find this information? It's not only a challenge to uh, uh, provide this service, but also to inform a citizen so that uh, um, it could be uh, easy to navigate. Uh, so here is an experience of the Kaluga region. Uh, Vladislav, uh, have you seen any changes? Do you have an understanding of the same request, the info, uh, the inf the awareness mechanism? What is exactly is working? We live in the uh, world of information, and today, with high respect, uh, with all due respect to our citizens, uh, and especially, you know, the modern channels of information supply, uh, we need to ensure that it should be uh, fast, uh, accurate, uh, and although today few, few people are capable of analyzing large data volumes, everything should be accessible. So we are not uh, <clears throat> giving up the traditional ways of information, uh, of communicating information, especially taking into account the RAS places where it was a large, uh, high degree of traffic uh, were visited by uh, people and of course, uh, we have to use every traditional means as well, but the, there are these new things uh, that we see in our lives today, which has occupied uh, their niche, and uh, we cannot imagine our lives today without a smartphone or um, without some social media. Uh, but we have now learned or beginning to learn to use uh, rankings, ratings, so as to uh, deliver this information uh, exactly um, to the audiences that we need, so, so that the information could reach the chat boxes uh, uh, with parents, uh, uh, you know, exchanging in uh, with other parents in kindergartens or in schools, uh, especially as regards, for example, the social contract, as we enter these uh, chat boxes, uh, chat rooms, uh, you know, we have now 
received up to 200 requests, uh, applications per day, you know, so thousands upon thousands of people have now uh, have access to these services and uh, so many people are using them now and we have uh, uh, formatted a very simple application form uh, which you can actually uh, um, do in uh, using your uh, smartphone uh, at home so last year we have had uh, we had uh, 20 people under the social contracts uh, in the year after this more than 2500 already so as you, you can see, we have now ways to communicate in a very fast manner with people. There are other tools, of course, uh, that help us to monitor the situation, the center for management in the regions that allows us to scan the information space uh, and to find the people who uh, do not know how to find answers to their questions, who really need the social support. So today we have thousands upon thousands of such uh, um, requests, uh, of such inquiries as we learn more about their uh, needs, about their demands, we'll uh, find the relevant information and uh, uh, ensure the feedback. So that's quite an interesting contact, the new opportunities that we can use now, combining them, of course, with traditional ways. We are also planning to set up a contact center for social services where um, more detailed explanations can be provided to people uh, with more detailed uh, instructions on how to participate in different social programs and uh, importantly you know in this respect uh, acting jointly with the social treasury we can also ensure direct and clear-cut communication that provides very good synergy effect uh, as people in some difficult situations should not uh, experience additional difficulties as they are dealing with uh, state authority. So we're trying to do this as transparent as possible. And now we'll just uh, carry as we uh, follow up on that. Last year, the uh, unified contact center started to work on a federal level. I uh, would like to say that it is now up and running. First of all, uh, the pension support for retired people and also uh, families with children. Uh, since April last year, uh, there have been 12 pilot regions. And since November, it's been uh, working, it's been operating throughout uh, entire Russian Russia's territory. So here is uh, the uh, uniform uni fight contact center and when they receive the exact data so for you know any person who has some uh, facing some uh, life uh, problems uh, some situations um, uh, can address that so we have processed already more than uh, two million three hundred thousand uh, uh, such requests, uh, but I would like to draw your attention to another federal service that uh, emerged last year related to uh, information. Uh, there might be different situations in our lives, and some situations uh, entail a certain support measures. For example, when a child is born in the family, uh, the state is supposed to uh, provide some support, whether it's a monthly or annual or like uh, the uh, maternity capital uh, in different types and different formats. So for the first time ever, uh, the, uh, we uh, now activated the, uh, the information resource uh, that is related to uh, citizens directly in a certain situation, designed through the Suslugi, through state service uh, portal. So any person can, uh, um, you know, uh, request that uh, uh, 
information should be provided to him in case of uh, certain uh, life situations. We have launched uh, three types of support, childbirth, uh, disability, and retirement age. Uh, at this point in time, 19 million uh, citizens have uh, given their consent to uh, um, uh, subscribe uh, to this information in case of such events. Uh, in more than uh, 200,000 notices have been sent in such situations. In every situation like this, the uh, state services, uh, the uh, government services portal, there are certain measures that are tied in to that, so in this portal you can clearly see which region uh, has applied. So if such uh, uh, happy events, such as the childbirth, uh, uh, takes place and the person uh, has. Uh, previously given his consent uh, to this uh, uh, information uh, depending on the municipality, on the place uh, of residence. Uh, he can immediately see what kind of uh, social support he can uh, obtain um, in this case, uh, which uh, means that uh, from the same uh, you know, personal account, he can uh, make an application for certain social protection measures. Uh, so this process is still going on. The process of digital transformation of such uh, social support measures uh, uh, has to be uh, completed by the 1st of uh, January 2025. Let me cite one example uh, concerning uh, what you've just mentioned, uh, especially in the case of uh, a new uh, person in case of a child birth. Uh, it's um, one uh, <clears throat> time, uh, one of uh, support, 25,000 rubles, plus a multi-card is given to the family, uh, which is quite comfortable. A young family, mother and father understand what they can count on uh, as a result of uh, the birth of their uh, child. Uh, so if we take some platform, you, you have to address the platform anyway. But in this case, assistance comes directly into their hands. So it's just like an option when talking about a large set of different services. The platform uh, a tool is quite efficient. But when there is a case like this, uh, we actually we haven't seen any negative emotions uh, in this case. And so we were really happy that we managed to uh, invent such a project. Now, talking about the life situations that uh, will uh, be posted, uh, will appear on in the portal in the nearest time. So uh, there will be two more in addition to the previous three. Pregnancy in 2021, uh, the monthly support measures and benefits to uh, pregnant uh, women uh, were uh, uh, offered. And the second is when a child reaches a certain age. Because many support measures begin when uh, a child reaches uh, three years or eight years. But from uh, now on, we are planning the same portal of Gos uh, Uslugi. Uh, for example, uh, to get the status of a uh, family with many children, veteran um, status, um, or a person who has been affected by radiation and the loss of a breadwinner. So these are a few more uh, circumstance situations which will be added to the previous ones. As if Vladislav has rightly noted, this kind of broad broadcasting uh, that allows, uh, that is, uh, um, has been uh, performed thanks to um, this platform uh, tool. But, you know, uh, as together with his congratulations, uh, you know, it is really pleasant for a family to receive that. 
And this combination has to be part of social services. But when we speak about social treasury, many people are afraid that the figures will substitute a person. There will be no personal contact. There will be nobody in the social protection system to talk with, to analyze the problem you have. But there are some measures which has to do with direct payments. They do not require any consultation or any analysis, and they are usually offered when the family is in difficult situation or there is something that provokes that payment. But there are also measures of social support for specific person, for specific family to overcome their problems. And uh, this kind of social support is the social contract in particular, which uh, has great demand on behalf of the population. Uh, in the year 2021, um, we began to offer this social contract all over the country. And today, the key instrument which helps to overcome difficult situation, and not thanks to uh, financial allowance, but thanks to special conditions created by the social contract to uh, guarantee to a family a source of income, sustainable source of income. And one of the leaders of this work with social contract is the Novgorod region. Andrei Nikitin is connected to us. He's the governor of the region. Andrei, could you please explain us this uh, social contract uh, thing and um, whether this approach, this uh, use of social contract uh, is working or not? In your region. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. We cannot hear you here in the studio. The mic uh, micro is on. Uh, do you hear the uh, speaker on the air? Yes. Andre, they do hear you on the air and they will uh, bring us the sound to the studio in a minute. So, when we started this uh, project, uh, no regional body uh, had information about the exact number of families with children and of families below the uh, minimum level of salary. Uh, so we had some basic data on poverty in the region, and um, the data that we had was the data of Rostat, uh, and they weren't very exact. So we've had about 450 uh, families uh, which were used to determine the level of poverty. And this is not the number which gives you an uh, objective idea of how the poverty in the region is. Uh, so we worked with a university on a questionnaire of 30 questions, which had to do with the main spheres of life of a family, education, property, health, uh, income, etc. And we uh, gave the questionnaire to 80 percent of families with children uh, who were receiving uh, different kinds of allowances, and that helped us to understand the situation in the region. And we uh, saw in every um, village, in every town, in every uh, district, uh, which kind of situation did we have there, uh, and uh, where we saw the lack of education, we offered education through the social contract, where um, people didn't uh, have any job, we offered jobs. So we understand that the main kind of social contract is the social contract for education, for uh, own business, and for occupation, because those social 
contracts are the ones which um, can bring those families to um, a level where they can uh, have enough income for their subsistence. So we analyze those social contracts in the central of my business. As after that, we offer a tutor to those families to in order to have an education and uh, after that education they can count uh, with a loan without any interest up to 500,000 rubles and those families they open all kind of shops, gyms, um, car services and we have um, 2,000 families of this kind, uh, families that now have their own family business and they also offer services for people around them. And one of the key solutions was a solution to create in each uh, municipal district uh, special committees from formed by representatives of different entities from agriculture, economy, education and health uh, services. They analyze those social contracts and if there are some special measures like for example in agriculture or in um, health they uh, offer together with the social contract all kind of uh, extra uh, services or extra help extra support which uh, allow um, have a guaranteed result of the uh, application of social contract in a year we celebrated 300,000 uh, social contracts and uh, this is the first um, place in our uh, part of uh, Russia and it means that many persons receive the possibility to abandon the poverty and to begin to uh, gain money. Our social contract was um, priced with a counting chamber uh, for social politics and we've tried uh, to discuss all our solutions with different experts, with uh, our citizens. And as a result, we had quite efficient uh, social contracts. And uh, we saw that after the year 2020, the efficiency of social contracts was about 80%. So uh, it's been a great project. And uh, we like it. People like it. It has a very positive image. And we will go on uh, with this project trying to make it more and more efficient. Uh, thank you very much. It's true that uh, 2021 wasn't easy for social contract as uh, before the social policy was based on uh, direct payments and usually people had just to present some documents and uh, after that they were receiving those allowances but uh, social allowances they uh, aren't enough to increase uh, its own potential because with Without any income, you cannot survive. You cannot survive with the social uh, payments. And the main objective is not uh, only to overcome the poverty, it's uh, to increase the uh, well-being of the citizens, to offer the possibility to work to everybody who wants to work, to uh, offer them new competences, new qualifications. And there was another change which has to do with the social treasury program. Uh, I refer to a new approach to the evaluation of uh, the target groups of citizens because the social allowances they cannot substitute the income from uh, other uh, kinds of other sources like work uh, those payments they have to stimulate a person to achieve new knowledge new experience to gain uh, money this person needs uh, they 
что позволило сделать социальное значение. Не просто получить социальное значение от государства, и этот социальный трезвый программ позволяет оценить жизнь человека не только с точки зрения выплаты, и вы всегда должны оценить все факторы, которые влияют на семью. Поэтому этот новый термин, который мы видели в последние годы, whole um, evaluation of the necessities of a family, it's a very used in social treasury because we have different kind of payments for uh, pregnant women, for children aged three to seven, for lonely, uh, for, for, for families with one uh, parent. Uh, and when we evaluate their conditions, their status, we evaluate a number of factors, not only the income, uh, which is presented to the um, uh, tax service. We can also evaluate the property as the family, as uh, its uh, savings, bank savings, and we also can analyze whether they use their potential. Uh, if it's a person which is able to work, which has no restriction, no health problems, this person has to work, and there is a number of uh, reasons uh, which um, impedes the work like, for example, um, <clears throat> carrying a child uh, aged less than three or uh, ill relative uh, service, uh, ar uh, army service or uh, other situations of this kind. Uh, or if, if it's a family with multiple children, one of the parents, one of the parents can stay at home to uh, care the children. So we have this list. It's an extensive list which we go updating after consultations with uh, our citizens, and we do it in order to offer the help to all the citizens and to make this help. Uh, uh, easier, and we are looking for um, synergy between the stimulation of employment, uh, the use of social contract for new income uh, source for the family, and I believe that this combined approach will help us to achieve the national goal put by the president to reduce two times the poverty in our country and will contribute uh, considerably to the well-being. When we talk about payment with an application or without any application, uh, is it possible that uh, there will be a time where you want to present any application to receive uh, help from the state? Is it correct? Well, uh, I would like to say in the first place that this um, place is that the social uh, contract program is of uh, great demand and uh, that is it's the old story of uh, fish and uh, fish and steak, fish and rod. Uh, if you give a person a fish and rod, he will uh, have the fish he needs for his family, for them. So we need to stimulate uh, the employment of people we, and offer the help to those who cannot work, who cannot gain themselves the sources they need. As to the help without any application, I believe that the majority of services and of uh, measures that we offer to help uh, can be brought without any application. But on the other hand, uh, if it's a help, usually you need to ask for this help. When it's a support for uh, a family, when they have a baby born or they have a, a difficult situation, it's one thing. But when uh, there you don't need any application, you just uh, have to transfer them the help you want to transfer him. But when it's a social contract, uh, we want to see initiative on behalf of uh, those who need the social contract. They have to come to you, and uh, you cannot just give that um, help because you have it. Or in case of 
difficult, a difficult situation, which is unpredictable. And in this case, the state offers help and offers a unique solution. Uh, and I would like to go back to the social contract issue. Uh, Andre said that it's very important to evaluate the efficiency of the contract and have a special system to evaluate the necessity of social contract. So we uh, had a new program for elderly people and their family, and we started with um, just allowances, but after that we thought about applying the social contract form because uh, here uh, we could prove everything. Uh, we saw 100% efficiency, and uh, we had uh, people ready to uh, care for uh, elderly people, other elderly people, and uh, a very clear and transparent social contract with all the compromises. And uh, this social contract system and this uh, efficient system of proof uh, which is achieved thanks to the use of social contract is a very good thing and, uh, thing, and I believe that Basing on the application or on the status, uh, you cannot receive the social contract. You have to you have to uh, apply it personally. Uh, the state is doing a lot to uh, help everybody to. Um, give the possibility of uh, personal consultation uh, to bring all the services person needs and the we, we are sure that the figure won't substitute the uh, human being, but um, this digital world helps us to simplify the uh, process of social support and um, make it more targeted, to make it more efficient. The social treasury is a long time project, and every year, every month, we will see more and more support measures which will be simple, which will be efficient, as the measures that we discussed today with our colleagues. But this social politics, they also require a more active position from a person. Uh, in some time, you don't need to look for the help. Uh, the state will bring it to you. But you have to react correctly. You have to cooperate with the state um, for the social help and uh, be active and not passive. And in this case, the social policy will help to overcome difficult situation, will help to overcome the poverty, will stimulate the demographic processes in our country. And the social treasury will remain the digital platform for simplifying the uh, help. I believe that that's all for today. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the participants. Bye.